Hey, what's going on guys, Sir Vishnu here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a 4-channel relay controller board with the Arduino Uno. Let's get right into this video. So now let's take a look at the parts that we're going to need for this build. Of course, you're going to need the seed relay shield itself. This can be bought for now $19 at your local video shack or picked up online. Of course, you're also going to need an Arduino to use it with, since this is a shield for the Arduino. And of course, you're going to need a cable to program it, because there's no other way to program the Arduino. And finally, you're going to need your test object. For mine, this is just test, so I'm going to use an LED. It's going to be powered off my portable lab bench power supply, so I'm also going to need a jumper wire with it. Now with that, let's hook up the hardware. So what we're just going to do is line up the pins and the holes on the Arduino and the shield, and carefully line them up and then push on it. So right now I just have my LED hooked up to the negative lead and my wire hooked up to the positive lead and these wires lead to my lab bench power supply. So what we're going to need to do is open up the terminals that lead to NC, N01 and COM J3 and simply put each one into each one. Put each one into the corresponding hole. It doesn't really matter if you mess up ground and positive because it's not really matter because this doesn't really use those polarities and all this does is join the two leads when the relay signal is pushed. So now just proceed to screw the rest of them into place. And if you do this right, then it shouldn't be glowing. Again, it's COM J3, it's COM J1 and N01. Those are the only ones that should be clicked right now. And so now we can just plug in the programming cable to the Arduino. And now we'll be on our way to programming. Let's go get a computer and we can start. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is declare the input relay pin. So first put int relay pin and then put equal to 7. And then you have to end it off with a colon. Now under void setup type in pin mode relay pin and then set that as an output. And again, let's end it off with a colon. The colon is used for, as many people know, for ending that statement. So now we're here in the void loop, but inside the void loop, we're gonna have to write digital, write, yeah, and Arduino is capital sensitive, uh, and then do relay, pin, and then declare that state as high. And what this is going to do is turn on the relay. And because this is just a test, I'm also going to put in a delay. So we're going to do delay. And I'm just going to delay for 1,000 milliseconds. Again, don't, don't forget to put the colon in after each statement. And because this is just a test, again, I'm just going to copy that code and write it here. Except at this time, we're just going to write this as low. So we can turn it on and off. So now we can go and upload this to the Arduino. So I went and finished and uploaded the code to the Arduino, and as you can see, the LED turns on for 100 milliseconds, and then it turns off for 1000 milliseconds, and this cycle keeps on repeating over and over and over and over again. That's how it works.